Hey guys, my name is SigaBOT1, and welcome back to Let's Play Punch Out Wii. I'm starting out this video with uh, commentary, with live commentary, because of something very important. We're going to be covering Max Last Stand today. The reason I wanted to do this with live commentary is because I wanted to make sure I had enough time to explain everything there is to know about this mode. So in this mode, you face every challenger that you have ever faced in their title defense iterations in a random order. You might even encounter the same person multiple times before even facing a certain other opponent one time. And if you lose three matches, you are done with this mode entirely. <clears throat> but there are two things that you want to get out of this mode, which I'll explain a little later. I'm a little scattered, but I don't know what order to explain this all in. You cannot reset by the typical method of resetting the fights. In order to do this, you need to go to the... I mean, in order to restart a fight that you think you're not going to win, you go into the home menu and restart the game entirely, or you turn off the console, turn it back on, you know, that kind of thing. It, so, yeah. Uh, there's two things you want to get out of this mode. One is a secret character who is actually the person that I'm going to fight next year. I did fight about eight matches off screen in order to get my counter up so I can show specifically to get to either the secret character or to the tenth match, whichever, whichever came first. And the secret character came first. Now, when you restart, the character you were on will stay that character. It won't switch to a different one, so don't worry. Um, when you get to the when you unlock the when you fight the secret character and beat them, you can play them in exhibition mode. When you beat your tenth match, it doesn't have to be in a row, mind you. You will get a new mode known as challenge mode, which I'm not going to be showing off exactly what that is, but I will explain it. This is a mode where any attack that any opponent will use. It can use against you will instantly knock you down. Additionally, they no longer glow red or yellow. You get an additional badge by their by their character in exhibition mode when you beat them in champions mode. And I have beaten every opponent in champions mode on a previous file. I'm not gonna do that for this let's play because I don't feel like that's important. So let's get into the nitty-gritty. Who is the secret of boxer that we are going to face? Who is the secret 14th opponent of Punch-Out for the Wii? Probably already know it, but let's find out. And I'm going to switch over to post-commentary for the rest of this video. Hopefully you won't be able to notice a difference, but here we go. As soon as I can do this. Yeah. That's right. Donkey Kong is the secret opponent. It's not a new it's not an original character, but it is a character that is definitely a lot of fun to fight and very challenging. In fact, I find I found this guy very overwhelming that I had to do numerous restarts in order to get used to his fighting style when I first found him. This guy focuses on tactics of goading you into doing tricks by doing numerous taunts, all of which can be countered for star punches in numerous ways. As the fight goes on, he gets more and more aggressive, making his combos more unpredictable and just chaining them together. And that's... you're seeing some of his attacks here. That over... that thing where he hits the ground a couple times, that's one that you're gonna see a lot. And obviously you have to dodge both ways, but surprisingly enough there is a way to dodge the attack if you go in the direction that he's using his fists. I mean, if you do it with the right timing, you'll you'll find the space in between his... Ugh, <laughs> in between his fists, for lack of a better term. And, yeah, I'm not trying to get hit on purpose there, I'm just... my reaction time is really bad <laughs> when it comes to that attack in particular. It's just really weird. And also, it, he's sitting, basically. I don't know why that counts as him being on the ground. And after every knockdown, he does this kind of attack. I'll explain it later. Hey, Mac, baby, pitch me. I must be dreaming. Are you fighting Donkey Kong? Yeah, I am, and it won't be the last time. Just wait five years, Doc. 
or in Super Smash Brothers together. Okay, now to explain that jumping attack he has, he sometimes does it before knock, even after he hasn't just gotten knocked down, but uh, that's when you almost commonly see him doing it. He'll indicate that he's doing it when he goes to the back of the ring and he beats his chest. If he beats it with both hands at the same time, that means he's not going to do that. He's going to have his hands go beside you and then come in this over, this, I like have him, his hands go together and try to hit you in the middle, which cannot be dodged. You have to stun him in order to avoid getting hit by that. If he beats his chest in a sporadic pattern, he's going to have both his hands go straight for you and you have to dodge to the side in order to dodge it. Or, if you're lucky, you can actually hit him while he's doing that flying animation. And here's another taunt that we haven't seen him do before. If, in my opinion, the one where he's... The one that I just got where he's putting his hands up and down, I think that's the easiest to get a star punch on because you have to wait for him to put his his right arm up a second time and then hit him in the side. And then there are some that have harder... Or that, some haunts that are harder to get those off of, so yeah. Also, these guys' challenges, they're really hard, and yeah, I'm going to show them after I'm done explaining and showing title defense. No, this is Max Last Stand, that's right. Now keep in mind, you could go a ton of matches without ever fighting this guy, or you could fight him multiple times early on. So it's really just a crapshoot, depending on how lucky you feel with Max Last Stand. Okay. You can dodge to the left for that one, but you cannot dodge to the right, and you can duck. I've actually almost got him on the ropes. Come on. Did not get him there. I was unlucky. Listen up, son. You go out there and distract this gorilla. I grab his bananas so I can make me a chocolate sundae. <laughs> sure, just don't want to just go to the store. Really? Okay then. Alright, he's not really going to develop any more new attacks, but he is going to start chaining them if we start incorrectly guessing what he's going to do. And that's an example of dodging every combo of his in an attack and just laying the smack down. If, if, if you get hit by at least one attack in his combo, but you would dodge the last one, you can only get two hits on him, but you can get like five or six if you wait it all out and do that, if you're able to dodge all of them. Also, there was a trick you can do with the uh, the flying attacks that I'll get into later because it is it, it can be used to get a certain challenge done, and in fact, it's very recommended that you use it to get a challenge done. Star punch in the side. <laughs> yeah, that one is a very annoying one to get. A, a lot of the star punches are actually really annoying to get because. There's those instances where even if you hit him, you might not even get the star, so the timing is just precise. Knockout. And just like that, I knock him out. I don't even get to finish my thought, but I think you get the gist of it. Anyway, you may have taken a beating, Little Mac, but you came out on top. Whew. Yeah, baby. Hands off. Hands off, baby. Ain't no one touch your belt. Booyah! Anyway, I actually have three matches, I mean, two matches left before I get the ten match, I mean, ten win streak. It's not, it doesn't have to be a streak, it just has to win ten matches. And uh, one of the matches that I do, I'm actually have something to say about because it's a technique that I haven't shown off about this particular boxer yet. You don't know who, who is coming, but... You're about to, okay? Uh, here's an example of what it looks like to go into a match not knowing who the boxer is going to be. Okay, so we have Aaron Ryan, I, and I think I had fought him at this point, but uh, I wish I had turned up the volume for this. Anyway, Star Punch when he's doing this. I just love that. Uh, anyway, I, on, this, on the topic of that rope attack 
last ditch effort when he's falling. Uh, I have something to say about that, actually. If you... I mean, that's... I mean, when you're in champion's mode, that is one of the only attacks that actually won't knock you down if it hits you. So even in champion's mode, where everything else is a one-hit knock down, that one will not knock you down ever. And here we are, going on to the next guy. This is a match I'm actually going to show in full because it went very quickly. I don't know what I'm going to say about it, but uh, it's the tenth guy, so I might as well show something. So, let's bring it. All right, we got Disco Kid one more time, and uh, really, the it takes so quickly because I do the method that I showed during the challenges, where you hit him, or where you unleash a three-star punch when he's doing his uh, Disco Flurry. So yeah, it is really not hard. And I got hit by that weak jab, which is sad. Or actually, I. Well, I employ the tactic that I was mentioning before, but uh, it's with a two-star punch, I think. Now I remember the footage. See here, it just... No, I... No, way. never mind. I don't actually use that tactic at all. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just trying to arrange the footage earlier and... Uh, whatever. You know, I actually don't have much else to say about this fight other than... Well... I guess Disco Kid... Being in the same video as Donkey Kong is significant because he and Donkey Kong are the two, the only two fighters in this game who have appeared in any other Punch Out game. Also, I still love that knockout animation. <laughs> All right, Doc, let's see our prize. Also, you can't skip this cutscene in Max Last Stand, just so you know. Okay. Hit me, Doc. Woo-wee, Mac! You're a true champion, baby. If you want more of a challenge, try out Champion's Mode in Exhibition. It's sweet. So we have Champion's Mode. Again, I don't really show it in this video, but I have explained it, so really, if you're looking for an extra challenge and eh, def it definitely is challenging, go for it. Like I said, I have beaten every opponent in this game on Champion's Mode. If you want proof, I can take a video or pictures or something. Anyway, we're actually going to do Donkey Kong's challenges in this video. And let me tell you, they're hard ones. And yes, here, I did do Mac, uh, Glass Joe's challenge that I was missing in contender mode and also Aaron Ryan's in title defense. Okay, TKO or KO Donkey Kong without ducking. Okay, TKO or KO Donkey Kong never stun him. That's challenging. Defeat DK in less than 150 seconds. That is also very challenging. There is a way to do this all in one perfect run, but it is very challenging. I've done it before, but I don't recommend it because it the, a lot of luck has to be involved with it. So as you can see, Donkey Kong doesn't actually have one of those uh, cutscenes, like the, the still images, he doesn't have those. Anyway, for this one, I'm actually doing the knock him out in under 150 seconds one, and the no ducking one. I'm not, I'm not restricting myself to not stunning him because that would make this way too hard, and I also got really sick of it. Usually when I try these challenges, it takes me over an hour of restarting. These are the most challenging challenges in the game, and I also think they're the most unfair and really uh, rage-inducing. Because Donkey Kong is just unpredictable. You want to try to get him to do the over, like these, the, the flying attacks, but he doesn't always do them when you think he might. So it's unreliable to try and get him to do those, and you need to have a star punch in order to knock him down when he's doing those. Ugh. If you have a Star Punch after knocking him down, that's a good thing, and you can use it immediately when he's doing this. So, yeah. As for the no-ducking one, there's only one attack that he you can duck, or that you have to duck in order to avoid, and it's, uh... I think it's coming up. It's this one. You can duck that. Uh, he, he puts his hands at his both of your sides, and he, uh, he squishes them in on you. You can dodge that, but uh, don't do that. So yeah, the key to these challenges is to get star punches, and a lot of star punches. 
you must get. And... Yeah, I got those, but I did stun him. So the next challenge, don't stun him at all during the thing. Okay, I, I don't know why I showed that. I showed I'm talking about that. You know, he, we've seen it a bunch of times. Okay. Now I don't stun him, but I don't restrict myself to having to beat this fight in under 150 seconds, which, if you are challenged in the ways of time, that you have to do it before the timer in the first round reads 30 seconds. It's kind of weird. I wish I had just been in round one, but whatever. So here, you have to hit him with star punches, either by doing the instant knockout trick, I mean, knockdown trick, or just getting the star punches and unloading hell on him. So, you can usually, when he's rolling up, as you saw, sometimes he stumbles and allows you to get a star punch. That is great when that happens because it gives you a free star, obviously. And here we go. <laughs> I I don't beat him in under 150 seconds in this challenge, but I do I do what the the thing I was trying to get, so that's great. Also trying to time the star punch instant knockdown trick when he's flying in the air can be really challenging because well there is it seems pretty specific <laughs> as to when you have to unleash it. Let's just leave it at that. And it sucks and it's uh and I have to get hit by that, because you can't duck that for some reason. I mean, even if you're not doing the don't duck challenge, you cannot duck that and successfully avoid taking damage. So yeah, that is kind of funky bull shrimp, as Aaron would say in that Minecraft thing. Yeah, screw the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series. I think Little Mac has Mario one-upped in this situation. That was a lame joke. I'm sorry. Okay, the audio cut out. And I beat him in 2 minutes and 35 seconds. So that's that's actually more than 150 seconds if you do the math. So, uh, I'm going to stretch my feet, I guess, or just do something. Anyway, we've come so far. We've beaten... 14 opponents, multiple times each. What's next for us? Well, join me in the next video we'll, where we will show the end of Little Mac's career. Take care.